What is up guys, Kuzliki here and today we have new episode of Simple Minecraft. Okay, so there are a few things that I forgot to mention in the previous episode. As first, I forgot to say that I will try and upload Simple Minecraft every second day. So with that, you will have one day to comment, suggestion, ideas or questions. So they can be in the next episode. But no worries if you don't comment in the next day. But in two days later, you will just not be in the next episode, but in the video after that. This is the first thing. And then the second thing is if you want to leave um, questions, suggestions or ideas, you will need to write something like QSI and then write your question, suggestion, idea. So I will know that you're actually trying to do the ideas or questions on the comments below. And then for the last thing is that I forgot to say a few things about last episode. As you may know, in the background, I got a banana. Okay, so let's start. First, um, as you can see right now on the screen, there is a tree. So this tree is Musa tree. You can call it banana tree. So basically Musa tree is made out of leaves and pseudo stem. So leaves are like normal leaves on the tree, which drop a banana and musa saplings. And then pseudo stem is like wood on a tree. Banana is a food uh, which gives you two and a half hunger. That is basically it for the banana. It's like an apple, just it gives you a bit more of a hunger. This is it, uh, the thing that I forgot to mention in the previous episode. But now let's go to this episode. Okay, so as you can see right now on the gameplay, I'm trying to mine some coal. It's a very large, um, <laughs> I don't know, jackpot, I guess, because look at that, all of that coal. Damn, that's so much coal. But anyway, right now I'm just trying to get as much uh, material as I can in the caves because it's night outside and if I go outside I would die from zombies or I could actually fight zombies but you know you normally dig at night and at the day you explore the world. Now we can go and start with the question that we have today or idea actually that is quite big and we can talk about it. Okay so the idea is from Roxa Sori. I'm sorry if I pronounced the name wrong. So and he says for the problem of the nether star, I got an idea. Just add it like a really, really rare ore who gives you a nether star shard and with nine nether star shards, you can craft a nether star. Or if you want it, craft a half nether star and with two halves of a nether star, you craft a nether star. But I think it's too expensive. So basically in general with the idea of a nether star um, and having nether shards, it's quite good. I mean, Right now you can only get nether star from the wither mob. I explained everything on the previous episode. So if you want to know about that, go check it in the previous episode. But as for the nether shards, I think adding some kind of an ore is a really good, probably rare as a diamond and finding that ore in the nether is really good. I eventually wanted to add ores to nether and now with the nether star, I actually don't need to create a whole new ore or material. I just add uh, some nether shards and then with the nether shards, you craft the nether star. Basically, that's it. And with the nether star, then you create weapons, armor and all other stuff. So that's really amazing. I was thinking more like one nether star ore, you would get one nether shard. And with finding five of five nether shards, you would be able to craft nether star. So basically um, nether star is like a shape of a plus or something like that. So you will put five nether shards inside of the crafting table, like some kind of a plus, and then you get a nether star. And with that craft all the weapons and other stuff. I will also just leave some examples on the screen. So you will be able to imagine it, how it will look so yeah, that's, that's a really good idea overall. I don't need to add now new ore to nether. I can just do nether shards or nether star shards. And yeah, that's really good. I will add this to, to the list. Okay, so this is it for the first idea. 
This was the only idea that someone posted on the YouTube comments. So instead of uh, taking ideas from the Minecraft forum that I already answered, I will just go with the, my to-do list and explain why I, I added some of my ideas into it and if you think they are okay. First thing is Ruby. So Ruby basically is a really like shiny it's like diamond emerald it's red and it's quite good looking so why not <laughs> we need some red things anyway so basically i wanted to add ruby into the mod it would be probably somewhere around emerald or diamond strong it wouldn't be stronger than diamond of course but it would be a bit less strong than diamond so basically with the ruby it would be possible to craft weapons tools armor and maybe some extra stuff if I will find use for it. But yeah, the Ruby overall is just the first idea of adding in into the mod. So please let me know what you think. So yeah, let's go to the next thing. Okay, so for the next thing then we have more crafting recipes. So what I meant with that is as um, you can see on the to-do list, I gave an example for saddle. So basically, currently right now, the saddle can only be gained from a chest in the caves or something like that. Um, so basically, I just want to give saddle a crafting recipe because only getting them from some chest in caves is not a really good idea. I'm not really sure why Minecraft decided to do that, but okay. So adding saddle in the crafting recipe would be really good instead of trading how much eight or ten emeralds for a saddle with a villager it's too expensive so probably i would um, make a crafting recipe something like leather string wool i'm still thinking about how the recipe will be but something along that way and maybe an iron now that's for the saddle now let's go to the more smelting so what I meant with the more smelting is some kind of a recycle system. As I gave an example on to-do list, iron door. So basically for the iron door, you need six iron ingots in the crafting table and you get out three iron doors. So basically that means that one iron door is two iron ingots. And with that, if you destroy an iron door, you would get one iron ingot out of it. That means basically that you won't waste as much uh, material as you would normally creating um, like six iron doors and then using only four of them and then you can recycle two iron doors and get two iron ingots. So that would be really good and use that iron ingots for maybe a sword or something like that and it would be really good. That is the only example that I gave on to-do list but there are so much things that I can do with this. For example, a wooden door. I'm not really sure how much you need to create wooden door, but I assume it's something like iron door, six wood, and then you get three doors out of it. And basically, if you destroy one door, you would get one wood pack. And that would be really good. Or plank, actually. I'm not sure if it's wood. I think it's plank. Then we have like a sword or weapons, tools, anything like that. If you have damaged iron sword, I would probably make it like you get one iron ingot out of it, maybe a stick. It would be a random chance, you would get, sometimes you would get stick, sometimes you wouldn't. And that would be really amazing to do, just so you can spare a lot of materials or get them back. I have been also thinking about this a lot because if I make this system, there are some things that could be like, you would probably gain more of out of it even though it doesn't make sense, um, like for the iron sword, I mean, if it's damaged, like one more hit and your sword will break um, and you would um, give to the recycle system and you would get one iron out of it. I still think that's valid just because having two ingots out of uh, two ingots giving to the crafting recipe to get a sword and then only getting one iron ingot out of it, it's, I think it's a good idea. You can leave me down in the comments what do you think about, for example, having a sword on this recycle system and getting one iron out of it, even though if it's almost destroyed or something like that. Yeah, I still need to think about, about this a bit more, at least for the like weapons or tools. 
but for um, iron door I think it's a good idea to do that because getting one iron ingot out of two iron ingots that you actually need to put on one iron door is good deal and would make sense there are a lot of things that would be able to go in this recycle system and would work quite well so these are the things that i wanted to talk about in this episode so yeah this is probably it for this whole episode i will talk about more in the next one as you saw in the background i didn't really get anything just a lot of iron and coal uh, not no new items that i would be able to talk about that are currently in the mod hope we will get some of the items in the next episode so i can explain the item that we got so this is it for this video, thank you guys for watching and as always, see you next time.